Pixelkin. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode number four of Anna's Apps. If you haven't watched an Anna's Apps video before, this is a show we do here at Pixelkin that talks about great apps for preschoolers, be they educational or fun or both. But the one criteria is that my daughter Anna absolutely loves these. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Sego Mini Monsters and Sego Mini Ocean Swimmer. All right, so let's take a look at Sego Mini Monsters. The first thing I want to note is that this game can only be played in the portrait position. So no landscape playing here. Um, and another thing to point out here, as you can see, there's an ad right down here in the right hand corner. Uh, I don't know how you feel about ads. Different people have different feelings about them. This one is just for other Sego Mini stuff. Um, apparently they have plush toys of their little monsters and animals, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I don't feel like it's obtrusive. I think the big glowing play button is enough to make kids realize that they should click there and not on the ad. So let's get started with the play. All right, so here we have this bubbling green pool of goo uh, with a little head sticking out of it, which is a monster's head. So we're going to drag him up or her up. I guess it doesn't matter. And now you've got the opportunity to sort of color the monster any way you want. You can give them stripes and polka dots. You can color their hair roughly. My daughter basically just likes to scribble on these a little bit and then hit the check mark, but you really can do whatever you want. It's important to note though that you can't color off the monster, you can only color on. Um, so, you know, it kind of hinders creativity in that way, but it's still not too bad. All right, so once you've colored the monster the way that you want them, you hit the check mark. And now we can see his face, his delightful face. And now some food's gonna pop up out of the goo um, and he wants this food, so we're gonna feed it to him. There's a birthday cake. A banana peel, not so great. A piece of cheese. And a burp, which is always great for preschoolers. So all that eating made this guy's teeth Pretty, pretty dirty. So now we have a toothbrush and we're gonna brush his teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, 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 brush. Are they white yet? Oh yeah, they're white. Pearly white. So now we're gonna get to decorate him any way we want. So, oh, it's a Sego logo. Let's stick that right here. We could put a bow on his head. We could put a flower on his cheek. Really, you can, you can decorate your monster any way you want with anything. Flowers can go anywhere. Hats can go anywhere. Like you can just keep doing whatever you want. There's no stopping this. So kids can really do whatever they want here. So after you have them decorated the way that you want, you can take a picture. It gives you a silly little Polaroid. It does not save the picture in your camera roll. Just so you know, you can only see it in game. It actually doesn't even save it in game. You just get to look at it real quick. So you're done with the picture. A child yells boo and the monster disappears. And then you got another monster that pops up. So let's do one more just to show you some of the differences. Let's give this guy stripes. Stripey, stripey, stripe. There. And it's important to note that they don't all just have one eye. Sometimes they do have two eyes and sometimes they have three eyes, but we've gotten one-eyed monsters thus far. So he wants a banana peel. Ooh, a pickle. And some spaghetti. And now he's ready for some dental hygiene as well. All right, so let's see. Oh, look, it's a nose. Let's actually give him a nose over top of his mouth. Hey, whatever works. A snake on his head, a bow tie. And now if you don't want to take a picture of him, you don't have to, you can just hit the check mark and he gets scared away. 
So that is Sega Mini Monsters. All right, let's take a look at Ocean Swimmer. Sega Mini. So once again, here on the start screen, you've got this little ad down here, just pointing it out in case that's something that bothers you. Again, I don't think it's very obtrusive and it's only for other Sega Mini stuff, so I really don't have a problem with it. But let's get right into the gameplay. So unlike Monsters, Ocean Swimmer is really more about exploration, where Monsters was more kind of a dress up doll sort of thing. So we start here in this little coral castle, and uh, this is where the fish lives, but right now he is sleeping. And the little eyes popping out here give you the clue that you're supposed to tap on this. That wakes up our little fish. And out he comes to swim around. So you guide him with your finger. Sometimes just swimming by things will make them interact. Sometimes you can interact with them more deeply when you find one of those sun-like things. And that's one thing to note about this one is, uh, you know, well, actually in Monsters too, there's a little bit of, of potty humor here. See, like the, the seahorse. <laughs> um, release his excrement. So, but it's not bad potty humor, you know, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing too bad about it. So this little interaction is my daughter's favorite. Surprise! Now, it could be her favorite, you know, just because it's cute, but I also think it might be her favorite because her own birthday party is coming up and she loves yelling surprise. So now we're going to make this guy eat his cake. Chomp, chomp. So, so yeah, Ocean Swimmer, there's just a lot of little things to interact with in here. And once you get started, you're kind of like trying to find everything that you can to interact with. That's okay. We've got eight more. Um, and so when my daughter started playing this, it really got to be about finding everything that she could interact with. So it kind of gives you incentive to keep going. There's more burping. Here's another bigger interaction. <clears throat> All right, and it's also important to note that you can do things on the surface. You don't just have to do things underwater. Oh. Well, at least the shark didn't get him, even though it was kind of his fault. He kind of started it. Oh, look, there's a doggy diving. Here's another little potty humor thing, just so you're aware of it. So it's nothing too bad, and kids think it's funny, so uh, let's see. Let's show you a couple more here. Yes, that's what's always great to do, is tickle a giant sea monster. Let's do this one. <laughs> so, you know, you can go up, down. You can also just send him back home. Send him back home and back to bed. Bye-bye, little fishy. And that's all there is to Ocean Swimmer. Like I said, both of these apps are really, really cute. Probably cannot be considered educational. I guess maybe fine motor skills and, and maybe in Monsters some dental hygiene. But other than that, they're, re they're really just fun. They're cute and they're fun. My daughter loves them. And so they come highly recommended from me. So that does it for this episode of Anna's Apps. Please stay tuned for more episodes right here on Pixelkin. And the next apps we're going to be talking about are some apps from Lazoo, Lazoo Zoo, Lazoo Color. Thanks so much for listening and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you again next time.